I was in Iraq in 2004 when the MEK were granted protected status. I closely monitored their activities for the almost three years that I was in Iraq. I received weekly reports from my generals, my generals who are familiar to some of you, Generals Miller, Brandenburg, and, and Gardner. I can tell you that the MEK never posed a problem for their multinational force and that Cash Camp Ashraf was always uneventful. Therefore, I watched with grave concern the events of 2009, 2011, and the recent mortar attacks. And it's clear to me that our work with the MEK is long from finished. The men and women at Camp Liberty are still at risk. The United Nations, the U.S. government, and the Iraqi government have all agreed that the MEK must be protected. They must see that this is done. More must be done, and more must be done quickly, particularly by the Maliki government in Iraq. They have to improve force protection at Camp Liberty. The MEK has continual, continuously lived up to their end of the bargain. We owe them their security and we owe them their future.